Listen to me, Emil. Listen to your mother. Your father's family is against me, who has suffered and put up with a lot, as you know. I don't have a husband who does right. I don't have a father. My sisters have disowned me. You're all I have. You're all I have, Emil. I never wanted to move here from Brooklyn, but your father insisted he made me do it. And now, here we are with a freezing cold with nothing. I've lost touch. I've lost contact with my life, which was in Brooklyn, with my mother on DeKalb Avenue, with my Aunt May, with my Uncle Bill, with the other people there. But Joey had to be near his mother. Your father had to be near his mother. Why? Because he's retarded and she looks out for him. <laughs> he's not retarded like your brother Gilbert. Your brother Gilbert was born that way. Something happened to your father. You can tell that he's not bright. He fell on his head. That's not what's wrong with him. It's not his head. He never read a book in his life. Movies in the truck. Movies in the truck. That's all he knows. At least I read. Once in a while, I read a book. You know that. I taught you to read, if you remember. Now, I want a TV so I can have some peace and pleasure in my life. We should have what other people have, Emil. I fought to get you a phone, if you remember. Now you call your friend, your friend can call you. I fought for that. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, you would have no phone. If it was up to your father, you would have nothing. But they don't realize that, so they're against me. But I have you, Emil. I have you, and they can't take you away from me. Do you understand, Emil? Do you understand what I'm getting at? Are you listening to your 